What's up, my pilots? Let me find you back playing Skyrim. In this episode, we are going to go talk Just to Cicero. To relax, Let the elixir do its work. What? You'll feel better shortly. What happened to Vizara? Did he get axed on uh, the... Thank you, dear. Oh. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Oh, no. Damn it. This never should have happened. The jester. What the hell? We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Yeah? What? Damn, that ass. Look at that. <clears throat> Astrid, what happened? Idiot. I may not have a lot of rules, but that doesn't give you free reign to do as you please. What? You want to resume your duties? What? Go talk to Nazir. Hey, all right, bitch. You got an arrow right over your head. You want me to do something? Because you got an arrow. What? What? Am I being admonished for killing my spectral assassin? What? Idiot. Oh. What is this? Where is Nazir? He's not standing out here with the rest of them. Man, are you kidding me? I think I might actually be getting. They, they, they might actually be mad because I iced the assassin. I guess it was a bit dis disrespectful, but still, okay, so it's, like, it's a ghost, I can just summon him again. It's not even a big deal. Where are you, Nazir? You're not sitting at your dining table like usual. Oh, boy. Where'd he go? Is he in here with the Night Mother? Nope. How about back here? What is back here, anyway? What? I don't know if I've ever even been back here. Whose room is this? Hmm. Interesting. Just keep circling around. Where's Nazir? Dead end. Where's Nazir? Seriously, though, where's this guy hiding? I don't, I'm, I'm confused. He should be out here. He's right there. He's right there. You disrespected the Brotherhood, and it'll cost you. You want back into the family? You pay the price. 500 gold, and all is forgiven. You guys are real sensitive about your ghosts, aren't you? Good. I'll spread the word that you've made reparations. Now let's forget the past and get back to business. He's already dead. Uh, did that quest actually tell me why I had been kicked out? Let's see. I've broken the rules. No, that's all it says. Ugh. All right. Marrow is dead. I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. I can see that. So Gabriella said Cicero did something? The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. I never liked him either. Oh, that's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It, it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. What's his problem? Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Hmm. Look. We've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. What? Why is it always me? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. Okie doke. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Arnbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Arnbjorn went after him. They disappeared into <laughs> the wild. Yeah. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Okie doke. I'll go search the room. But Vizara's okay. I like that guy. Is this the right way? Ah, this is Cicero's room. That's why I don't recognize it. Final volume. Did he really title it that? I don't know. Something wrong. Oh, no. Crazy, 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 craziness. Yeah, we'll just stay here with us. Oh, that book sure is heavy. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, let's take a level up. How about that? I'd like some more stamina, please. No, let's let's take Magicka. Right, That's so what we're gonna need when we get to the Mages Guild in the next series of quest lines. Um, I gotta drop something here. Have I got any good misc stuff to drop? Let's drop a bone. I'll do it. Alright, I can always get more of those. I didn't actually take any from the last dragon, but it wouldn't have mattered because I couldn't carry him anyway. Whoops. Wrong way. 
Hey Astrid, I found this really weird journal. Have you found something? I just said I found this really weird journal. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Another sanctuary, actually, in Dawnstar. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for? Because he's weird. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Okay, Doke. Here I go. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find he's a killer? Orion. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. I don't really do pieces. I, I use a bow, you know. I so I kind of just... They, they're pretty much whole. They just have some holes in them, if you know what I mean. What are you sitting out here for? Bizarro's in there getting shot up. It was a truly terrifying scene. Oh, you're too scared. It's okay. Respects. You can be scared. Just sit there on the bench and be scared. I'm gonna go get a demon horse. Demon horse! Demon horse! It's super freaky. I like how you get this loading screen of the five tenets, even though the guild has completely abandoned most of them. Isn't one of the tenets about Sithis? I guess they still say the whole Hail Sithis thing, but they totally lost the whole respect for the Night Mother thing. It's like they were, they were like New Testament and now they're Old Testament. They forgot all about Jesus and the Night Mother. Same thing, right? Ooh. I gotta say, this is one of the weirder moments in Skyrim. Well, it almost looked like he came up from the water. Sort of just looked like he appeared there and the water was bubbling. Good try, though. Good. Aw, he's got some pretty eyes! This horse is gonna be old as hell. Whoa, hey, look at that. Look at me. <laughs> oh, horses. Okay, let's fast travel. Locate okay, Anborn. What do you know? He's just north of Dawnstar, just like we thought. Sweet. It's a good thing we have this magical ability to know where we're supposed to go. Kind of a funny thing. Although, I guess it makes sense, since we have the spell Clairvoyance. So we should be able to know where we're supposed to go. That would be interesting. If you could only use quest markers if you had the clairvoyance spell. That would actually make it a little more reasonable within the confines of the game. <laughs> you wouldn't just be totally plot breaking and saying, I know where I'm supposed to be. Supposed to be. You'd actually have a justification. How do I sprint? Same button? Yeah. For some reason I feel like with the horse I should have to tap A or something, but I don't know what game that is. Hmm. Oh, that would be awkward enough time. <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, that would just that's the game I've been watching speedruns of, which, which is why I thought of it. Look at this. Leap! Leap! Oh yeah. Demon horse. Pretty great. Oh. Is there a jester here? Oh, it's Anborn. Anjborn, whatever his name is. Orange boy. Hey buddy. Should have figured Astrid would send you. I am the best. Oh, what gave it away? My awesome. <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Where is he? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. I know the phrase. I'll go get him. You can ride this horse home. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. Fop? But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Mmm. Here goes nothing. Alright, so I should know the password, right? Um, rabbit from a hat. No, uh, I don't know. Being happily married. The one where you saw a lady in half. That's a good one. Uh, innocence. Nom 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 nom. Yep. I like this quest because we get to kill Cicero. 
<laughs> now I should say that you actually don't have to kill him. You can, I think, parlay and, and he can become a follower actually for you after the quest line is over, but I really just hate the guy. I would never want to have him following me around. Yes, Apparently he took his clothes off before he went in. They're all laying here on the table. Hmm? Hello? What is that thing? Guardian ghost? Whoop! I missed! Doe! Sanctuary guardians, it would seem. This is a nice spot for a coffin. Um, probably need to get down there. We'll just keep skulking about until then. Oh, hello. You're just too annoying to live, man. How do I turn these off? I don't even have to. I can just sneak by. They're that slow. <laughs> I get it. Where's the, uh... There we go. Are those ghosts on fire? I think they are. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Love that enunciation, just aww. Oh. Ow. <laughs> you got me. Is everyone right next to me? Yep. Did he pop out of the wall right next to me? That's not even fair. I'm gonna die. Ugh, man. Come on. You can't just pop out of the wall right next to me, man. I'll use one of these. Where is my healing? I got minor healing. I drop. I always drop those first. I use those first. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Really? I get shot from half health down to nothing by a ghost? That's just embarrassing. Uh, so that's what happens when you play these fragile, stealthy characters and you don't get your stealth bonus. You basically get screwed. Yeah, so I have to slow down a little bit when I go down that hallway so I can actually get a sneak attack on the first one. So I have to take that three times damage bonus per, uh, for granted. You forget that you're not actually doing that much damage. That's really just a bonus. It's a bonus. Alright. Loading screen is far too long for me being uh, in the same area. Of course I'm not. In the same. I'll meet you back where I was. Good lord, Skyrim. I thought you had autosaves. Alrighty then. We're back. It's a little slower this time. Where's the trick to get this guy to come out? Come on. Up here. Here we go. Oh, I missed again. This is getting embarrassing. I can't even hit them when they're standing still. There we go. Run this way. Good job. Hey, oh. Ugh. Poof. Disappear. There he goes. He's gone. This way's kind of nice, actually. I like it. All right. The door is barred from the other side. Oh, I guess I have to go through the ice cave. Who would have guessed? Is there going to be a troll in here? Almost certainly. It's troll time! -na 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 -na. What is this? Yep, troll. Troll killed a deer. Not an original thought in the sanctuary, per se. Let's call it a forced addition. I don't know where the troll is, but I know he's in here, so I'm just trying to be cautious. I don't want him to get the drop on me. I'd much rather it be vice versa. Uderfike? Alright, Uderfike, he didn't put up much of a fight. Why do you even name? Ooh, you're ugly. 
Yeah, man, you're gonna die, is what I understand. You messed with my lady. Well, my boss, at the very least. Man, you tried to kill all my friends. Man, you tried to kill my lizard buddy. You're going down, bro. You ain't got no chance. Look at all the blood splotches. Oh, is it Draugr time? No, it's ghost time. Okay. I thought for a second we were about to go into Draugr mode when I saw all the coffins. I was like, are you kidding me? They've managed to put Draugr in this quest? That would be crazy. Oh, right between his legs. Oh, another one between the legs. Nice. And he died. Sweet. Where, what's in these? Who, rather, is in these coffins? They're all empty, apparently. Whatever. Seems like a trap. I don't like that coffin that's standing on end right there. What do you say? Oh, I'm spotted. This won't end well. Whoa, critical hit. I was lucky. Two down. Whoops. I like these sanctuary guardians. We need to get some of these for our sanctuary. Okay, back to sneaking. I like how you can still hop around like an idiot while you're sneaking. I find that hilarious. Hello? Master level lock! I live for this. Pick it up. That should be the expression you use to describe when you pick a lock. You should say, alright, I'm gonna pick it up. Whew. I haven't felt any movement yet. Whoop, I got nothing from that. I gotta go through all the way again. I must have missed the spot. Yep. Was that it over there? That was a tiny bit of movement. I don't think so. I think it's just breaking the picks. <laughs> Sometimes that can trick you into thinking it's actually moving a little bit, but really it's just shaking back and forth before the pick breaks. There it is. Okay. Let's try and zero in on it. So there's vertical. 30 degrees. Too far right, I think. Let's go to just the edge of that knob. That's too far left. Moved midway in between. That's off too. Ooh, this is a sensitive one. These master locks can be pretty finicky. Okay. How about right here? Nope. Alright, I'm way off. Where the hell is this thing? There it is. It's farther up than I thought. Let's see how far I can get. Alright. Let's go a little bit more vertical than that. Yes, these are really sensitive, these master locks. This is where having a high lockmaking skill actually can matter. Damn! That is friggin' nuts. Because when you have a higher lockpicking skill, it widens the success zone. I'm getting closer, though. So you can get... Uh, you can be off by just a little bit and still pick it. I knew I had it at the end there because it started to go real nice. Orcish armor. That's gorgeous and totally useless to me. Cool. I'll take the emerald and the gold. Hello. Oh, this could be bad. Missed me. Yeah, these guys do a lot of damage. Oh, I'd love a stagger. That would be great. Whoop, whoop, da, da, da. Not gonna die, not gonna die. I ran through a little better this time. I didn't have to use any of my... Oh, I'm glitching my bow. That wasn't good. Right, let me get some distance here. He's probably right behind me, though, so... Just turn around and... Try for a stagger. Ah, there we go. No, that wasn't really a stagger. That was just me about to kill him. When they get to low health, a lot of enemies will stagger automatically. So that isn't, that isn't my skill coming into effect. Unfortunately. Whoop. I don't feel slightly bad about these items. Look, please. Chuck it at Hokey Shinkog and pull that to death. No. Eh, not quite. There's the door that was blocking me.
Why can't I take my bow out? Do I have to talk to him? I guess so. What's going on here, Cicero? Yeah, my oh, my bow is disabled. Now it's not. All right, Cicero. <laughs> you caught me. I surrender. <laughs> oh, please. <sighs> Time to die, Jester. Traitor? Me? <laughs> Silly assassin. So confused. So confused. And they say I'm mad. If I'm a traitor, so are you. Have you not heard the maiden's voice? Are you not the listener? We still don't kill each other, man. So walk away. Let poor Cicero live. Tell Astrid you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. A tiny white lie for a dark assassin. Whoa, he's actually... Shit, he's actually right. Oh, man. Because I, I just said we don't kill each other, and he's just kind of... So I shouldn't be killing him, because he just... He feels like the Night Mother should be the authority, and he's just trying to express that. He's just like... You know... He doesn't know how to do things right, because he's just been talking to a dead person for years. Ah, oh, I just... Oh, let him. I don't normally do this. I'm kind of I'm feeling soft today. <sighs> All right, I'll just let it go this time. It's not like he's going to be able to get back into our sanctuary right now. So, with Fizara being nursed back to health, he can't really do that much damage to us. Ugh. And I'm sure some of you would probably want to see him live, but that's just sort of a side note, really. I don't like that guy. But then again, <laughs> there I go right before I kill him. I'm making a nice counter argument against myself. Like, whoops. <laughs> and you could say that because I say we shouldn't kill each other, I should kill him because he tried to kill us. But really, that's sort of lowering yourself to their level. That's like, uh, I don't know, that's what they always say. You try and be the good guy. Of course, we are not the good guys, but uh, <laughs> that's beside the point. Trying to make uh, consistent moral decisions, at least. When we kill for the Dark Brotherhood, it's meant to be motivated by some sort of greater power. A, a dedication to Sithis. A sort of unholy, worshipping sort of respect for death. And, uh, and then that, the, the sort of the voice of that ethereal force, Sithis, is the, is the, is the Night Mother. Uh, a somehow animate corpse. So really, you, you, you can't ignore what the Night Mother says because that's the whole source of your authority. That's your whole reason for being the Dark Brotherhood. And Cicero is probably the most loyal to the Night Mother of the whole group because he's the keeper. He, he protected her for years and he went a bit mad talking to her because she doesn't really talk back since he's not the listener. But then as soon as, he talk, as, soon as she talks to us, her authority was confirmed. And as crazy as Cicero might be, he doesn't deserve to die for being a loyal member of the Brotherhood, as much as Astrid might dislike Arnion him. Arnion is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? I got him good. Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Sure. In the next episode of Let's Play Skyrim! Thanks for watching! Actually, we're going to do Thief Skull in the next episode, but still. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Hey guys, just an after note here. I wanted to let you know that I have recently opened up a streaming channel on Twitch TV. You can find a link to my uh, stream channel in the description of this video, and uh, I wanted to announce to you guys that I'm going to be inaugurating, uh, just breaking in my stream channel by doing a marathon session of Ocarina of Time this Saturday. Uh, so starting at 10 a.m., 
I'm going to run through the game 100%, and I'm going to basically keep playing until we finish 100% of it. So I think it'll be a great way to break in the stream, and I hope to see you there to this Saturday. So again, there's a link to my Twitch TV channel in the description. If you don't have an account on Twitch TV, you should make one. It's really quick, and it'll let you uh, get an email alert whenever I start streaming, so you don't miss any uh, spontaneous streams, as well as letting you talk in the chat. So uh, hope to see you there on Saturday. Thanks for listening.